this is a very exciting day because I'm pretty sure I've done the final steps that I need to get the beta version of Quasar UI Auth out. And not just Quasar UI Auth, basically my view authentication library that's going to allow you to authenticate using, well, by default, Superbase, Sanctum, and Firebase, but it's also going to give all the contracts you need to then implement other authentication libraries. But anyway, I wanna run through, this has been kind of like a bit of a, uh, I guess a vlog of, uh, you know, what I've been up to trying to get this authentication library working. And so I wanted to sort of give you my latest because this has been the toughest challenge yet in um, setting up this library. All right, so I'm gonna to go to the login page and log in. If I remember my password, I've been changing them around a bit. Cool, got it in one. Now we've now got this menu up here that we get for free and it's got logout, but it's also got change password here. Now notice that we've got current password. I want you to remember that, that we've got this current password field here. And so I'm gonna put in my current password and then a new one. And then change it and there we go, that all worked nicely. And now if I log out and log in with that new password, it's going to work. So that's the feature that I added recently. I didn't wanna release this until you could at least change your password. However, this was really difficult to implement for a few reasons. So first of all, notice that I've got current password here and that's what you need for Laravel Sanctum. You usually need to just put in your current password and then the new one and it's just going to work. However, if I log out here and I'm gonna switch this over to Superbase. So let's go to auth providers and I'm just gonna change the default provider here to Superbase. There it is there. Superbase is actually a little bit different. You don't actually have to supply your current password. So if I come in here and log in, once again, I'm gonna to have to guess my password here. <laughs> Got it in one again. Now let's go change password, but notice that it doesn't show that other field at the top. It automatically basically realizes that, hey, you're using an auth provider that does not require a current password and it's automatically going to set the field out for you. So now I can go ahead and put in my new password here and we don't actually need the current password and that's gonna work. Log out, log in with a new password and it works. Very nice, let's see if I've got any errors in the console. Oh, it's clean, that's kind of nice. Uh, all right, so let's log out of here, but here was the real challenge. Now, things work a little bit differently with Firebase. Firebase is a lot more complicated and it actually requires you to re-authenticate if you haven't authenticated for a while. So basically, if your session gets a bit dull because you haven't put your password in for a while, Firebase has an extra level of security and says you need to authenticate again. All right, so I've switched the, de the default provider to Firebase. So we're using Firebase now. Let's log in with Firebase. Let's see if I get it in one again. And I did, very nice. So if we come in here and go change password, I'm pretty sure uh, I haven't logged in for a while. Actually, I've just logged in then, so we might not be able to show this. Might have to show it to you another way. And there we go, that works straight away. But let's go to the page for authentication. So auth update password, um, that would be this component here. And we've got this um, auth uh, reauthenticate dialog. So that's basically going to pop up if you need to reauthenticate. So let's just create a quick little button here, dummy button. And when this button is clicked, I'm gonna say requires authentication or what's it show authenticate, reauthenticate dialog and set that equal to true. All right, so let's just imagine the user hadn't authenticated in a while. I'm gonna click on this button to sort of show you what would happen. We'd get this confirm identity dialog that pops up here and basically asks you to log in again. Now, one of the reasons that I've done it this way is that some another way you can confirm your identity is by using an auth provider like Facebook or Twitter or GitHub. So it might not actually be a login form. You might have a login form and you might also have some other auth providers down the bottom here. And so I've tried to build this in a way that's flexible enough to say, hey, we've noticed that um, you have an account with uh, an email and password. So we'll show you this form here. However, we've also noticed that you have an account with Twitter. That's another way that you can log into our app. And therefore it will show like a login with Twitter um, 
a button there so you can confirm your identity using Twitter. And then you basically put in your password here. Actually, I think I changed it. I think it might be that. And there we go. I've now confirmed my identity. So now my basically the, in Firebase's eyes, my identity is fresh and I can lo come in here and now change my password again. And I think this is a really nice experience. So if you already had something in there and then you confirmed your identity. And by the way, notice that it pre-fills the email as well because we can guess that. Right, notice you, that we've still got the new password and confirmed password data in there so they don't have to type it in again. And then they can just go ahead and press update. And there we go. So let me just get rid of that button now. How cool is that? So just to sort of run you through all of the features that we have here, we've got logout, changing passwords, and changing your password is basically going to alter its UI in little ways depending on your auth provider. We've also got, of course, a sign-in page. We've got forgot password. I might not have even shown you this, but uh, forgot password was kind of difficult too because it works a little bit different between your different providers. So I had to create a contract that's strict enough that it's not too difficult to build a UI for, but also flexible enough to allow for other providers as well. So you can put your email in there and um, it's going to get you the reset password link. Uh, the other thing, of course, then is registering an account. So all of these features are available to you no matter what um, back end you're using. And I have plans, of course, to do other stuff like, I think the next one I might do is Microsoft Authenticator so that you can do like um, single sign-in. That would be really cool where you can basically just do single sign-in and if it takes you to the login page, it'll redirect you straight to the dashboard. So there's lots of cool stuff I could do there as well. Uh, yeah, so there you go. The last thing I wanted to mention is that this library that I'm using under the hood, this is not just for Quasar. In fact, it's, it's built in such a way that it'll work for any view app. However, since we're using contracts, we're able to create a UI based on the library. But if you wanted, you could just bring in, uh, what do I call it? I call it um, Auth Composables, but I am gonna rename the library. So don't use that name for now. But yeah, basically I've got the Firebase Composables library which follows all of these contracts. I've got the Superbase Composables Library and I've also got the Sanctum Composables Library. They're all available. And if you want, you can actually just go ahead and check out those on um, GitHub. They're probably gonna be at, I think it's L, no, what is it? It's, um, it's my view auth, what is it? GitHub, oh, I can't type today. GitHub, uh view auth. Yeah, here it is. So if you go to github.com slash view auth slash view auth, you can see everything on there. There's a Firebase, Sanctum and Superbase implementation. Um, Docs isn't really anything yet. But if you go to core here, you can even look and if you want to help me out, you might even want to start making your own implementations here. So if you go to contracts, basically all I've done is re-implemented all of these contracts. And the cool thing about this is once the contract is sorted, once I've um, figured out exactly what that contract is going to look like. So for example, use identity password login. All I have to do is re-implement that contract. And in my experience, I was actually able to do this with Superbase in a few hours, which is pretty insane um, that I get all of that basically functionality. So we get an entire Quasar UI built with Superbase and all I had to do was implement these contracts. And then if you're like a Ruby person, you really understand Ruby, then you could implement all of these contracts with uh, Ruby authentication. Or maybe you use Django and you understand that library really well and how to authenticate with Django. So you could re-implement all of these contracts with Django. And some other ones that I've been working on is uh, social auth providers as well. So if I jump into source here, uh, let's jump, not core, sorry, let's jump into, um, Firebase, this is what I've been experimented with uh, other providers with. So if I go to implementation, auth providers, I've actually got implementations for Facebook, GitHub, Google, and Twitter, and these are all working and they're all following a really basic um, contract. And this, one's, this contract was really easy to do because it's basically just saying, uh, hey, I'm gonna, I wanna I expect a promise and set that promise, uh, resolve that promise successfully if they were able to authenticate using a GitHub pop-up. So these are all basically pop-up authenticators and they're like, that was surprisingly easy to 
uh, implement using Firebase. So there you go. That's what I've been working on. Really, really excited about this. And I really want to drill this home. If you're not using Quasar, it actually doesn't matter. This is all built agnostic to Quasar. This ViewAuth library has no knowledge of Quasar at all. And then basically I created the Quasar UI library on top of this view auth library. So if you're, if you're using Nuxt, if you're using um, Beautify, and if you're using Beautify, then you definitely got to give Quasar <laughs> a try. Wink, wink, nudge. Um, or anything view related, Bootstrap view, any of those libraries, you can basically just use these composables uh, to get that working. But do, do keep in mind, it is currently in an alpha state at the moment. So it's a little bit volatile, but I'm aiming to uh, get this to beta soon. And there you go. So thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed this one. I hope you're as excited as I am. And I'll let you all know when this has been released. All right. Bye for now.